Hello, my name is Melanie and I'm a middle school computer education teacher at the Hershey Middle School. Welcome to an introduction of a great Web 2.0 podcasting tool that I came across this year when searching for an alternative way to record audio. The tool is called Bosme. One of the activities I have my sixth grade students do is to create a podcast. Their prompt is, if I was in charge of the world, these are the three things I would change and the reasons why I would change them to make the world a better place to live. This year, one of my students was hearing impaired, which also affected her verbal communication. However, with all the assistive technology solutions that are available today, I found an awesome Web 2.0 tool that was perfect for my special student. This Web 2.0 innovation allows users to type in text and create an MP3 file from the typed content. The tool is called Bosme, and the URL is www.vozme.com. Let's see how it works. As you can see, the graphical user interface is simplistic and quite easy to understand. There is a choice of six different languages that Bosme is able to recognize the type text in those languages and create a phonetically correct MP3 file with the correct pronunciation and dialect. After the language is chosen, the user also has the choice of choosing male or female voice. Next, type in the text box what dialogue you want your podcast to say. There's no need for a microphone. After you are done typing your message, click on Create MP3 button and a pop-up window will open playing your newly created MP3 file. The play bar will also give you the number of seconds in length your podcast will play. Then right-click Download MP3 and choose Save Link As or Save Target As. Save in the location and with an appropriate name so you will find it easily. The name that Vosme gives your file is not in a friendly format, so I always change the file name. You're all done. See? Wasn't that easy? Let's listen to our newly created MP3 file. Podcasting is becoming increasingly popular in education. Podcasts enable students and teachers to share information with anyone at any time. It can be a tool for teachers or administrators to communicate curriculum, assignments, and other information with parents and the community. Teachers can record book discussions, vocabulary or foreign language lessons, international pen pal letters, music performance interviews, and debates. You can also add this online text-to-speech tool to your iGoogle as a gadget or to your Facebook as a widget. Adding speech to your browser or to your website are also other options. The next step is to send it to iTunes where others can subscribe to your podcast and play it on their computer or portable MP3 player. Do you see this purple podcast picture? Did you know that if you click on the button under the radiating purple antenna logo, your computer will launch iTunes and automatically take you to podcasts? You can keep the podcast as is, which is an audio-only podcast, or you could use it in an Apple GarageBand or Windows Movie Maker application as audio for a vodcast, video with audio. As an endorsement of this great innovative Web 2.0 tool, the Association of Assistive Technology Act programs is committed to make their website accessible to everyone by using Vosme to create Hear This Text links throughout their website. 
According to Wikipedia, a podcast is a series of digital media files which are distributed over the internet using syndication fees for playback on portable media players and computers. I hope you enjoyed this instructional tutorial on Vosme.com. We know you can do it. Anyone can do it. Thank you from Wilkes University and have a great day.